human longing to somehow break the boundaries of their body, somehow to know something beyond the limitations of our existence. How many crazy things human beings are doing on the planet? How much trouble they are buying in their life just to have a little enhancement of experience, they even got married <laughs> Just to enhance life. Every human being doing it in their own way, each one, how much risk they are willing to take may vary from person to person, but everybody is putting themselves to something. It doesn't matter. Every doctor on the planet tells them, if you drink, your liver will go, your kidney will go, but more and more people are drinking. <laughs> well, just about anybody knows the drugs and other things will destroy, put holes in their brains. But still, how many millions of people on it? All this is just an effort, unguided effort to somehow break the barriers of who we are. How many beautiful human beings? How much talent, how much competence has died early on this planet because of this wild effort, unguided, misguided effort. There was no guidance to tell them, this is the way to break it. Effort, intention is great, but if our efforts are not properly calibrated, our efforts could be destructive. Our efforts could mean self-annihilation. All the environmental degradation that you're seeing, we're burning up the planet, human beings wanting to be something more, that's all. Tch. Yoga. Wrong yoga. I wouldn't even say wrong yoga, wrong approach to yoga because it doesn't work. You're doing it in a way that it doesn't work. So time has come because when you utter the word yoga, the misunderstanding in the world, oh, but I can't turn, I can't twist, I can't bend for sure, I can't squat. So that's why we want to put out one hundred and twelve varieties, choose. Those who can't bend, we'll twist them. <laughs> Those who can't twist, we'll turn them backwards. Those who can't squat, we'll make them stand upside down. Those who can't do any of those things, we have something else for them <laughs> For every kind, for every creature, a certain yoga, for everyone a method. The coming of Adi Yogi, I don't want this to be just a statue, I want it to come alive. So already the process is on, the consecration. <laughs> Hope my body holds up. <laughs> And <clears throat> all of you are here, we will make this happen. The Yogeshwar Linga will reverberate Adiyogi's face. I think we took over two and a quarter, two and a half years to design the face, but our teams have set it up in eight months.
It's an incredible feat in terms of time and engineering, it's unique. From what little research we have done, there isn't another statue which has been built in this method. We made a sculpture into just a piece of engineering because that's what we are good at <laughs> in engineering, you know. <laughs> so this is not about a statue, this is not about a one-time big event, this is a movement. We will… it's been on, but we will launch a mega movement across the world in the coming years to ensure that everybody has a logically correct and scientifically verifiable process for their inner well-being. <laughs>